Hi everybody, Tim Coffey here. Today I'm going to show how I made this blank canvas out of a wheat thins box. This technique is for those of you who want to hide the fact that the canvas is made from a box. It's really just a matter of making the box thinner so that it is about the same thickness as a real stretched canvas. Glue the flaps of the box closed with a hot glue gun. You could use any type of glue you want. If you use Elmer's glue, it helps to tape the flaps down after you glue them and wait until the glue is dry. Use an X-Acto knife to cut off the front of the box. Take a scrap of paper and mark it at about one and a half inches. This is the thickness of a gallery quality stretch canvas. Use the measurement on the scrap of paper to mark the corners of the box at one and a half inches from the front cover. Glue down any loose flaps on the inside of the box. Use an X-Acto blade or scissors to cut the corners of the box just up to the one and a half inch mark that you made. Mark up the sides of the box generously at the one and a half inch measurement. Use the marks as a guide to fold the edges. To finish the canvas, glue the flaps together so that they lay nice and flat. Now the blank canvas is ready for you to cover it with paper to make a collage or you can prime it to prepare it for creating a painting. To prepare the canvas for a painting, Paint it a dark color of acrylic paint like chocolate brown or black. This will hide the graphics and prevent them from bleeding through into the painting. Once the dark paint is dry, you could texture it with molding paste if you want, or you could just paint it with white gesso. I tried this tub and tile caulking. It worked, but the fumes are pretty strong, so I'd actually recommend the molding paste even though it's more expensive. Once the texture is dry, you can prime it with white gesso or black gesso or any color of paint you'd like. Now the canvas is ready for painting and no one would know it's not a real canvas unless they look at the back side. This technique would work just as well with the larger cereal box too. The trick is cutting it down to the one and a half inch thickness. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.